What's up everybody, Roger here from This Kingdom Block. Can we doing a video review here of the Marvel Avengers Infinity War 4 figure? So you can see here we have got the 4 action figure, we have got the axe, we've got the Infinity Stone. It is also Hero Vision compatible, which is a new like app that you can use with an Iron Man helmet and you can kind of play with that on there, so that one's good. Obviously we have got 4 here on the side and on the front here we have got Thanos. If we flick here onto the back, we have got all the health and safety mumbo jumbo, which we don't really need to worry about. We've also got a little bit more information about the app for the Hero Vision, a little bit more technical information, telling us which figures are going to also be coming in the series, including Captain America, Black Widow, and Star Lord, and a little bit of information there on four. We will have reviews for all of these because I have got all of them right here to do. Also underneath you've got a little bit more technical mumbo jumbo. These are available from stores such as the Disney Store, um, Entertainment Earth. You'll find links to them below. Okay, so let's rip this one open and find out what he looks like inside. Okay, so here we have got four all out of the packaging and we can see here he has got his um, little crew cut hair. We've got the little scars and stuff from where they cut his hair so it was not completely thing. We've got the beard. We've kind of got his new outfit, obviously, that we're going to see in Infinity War. He's also got some detail here on his wrist for his bands. On the back here, you can see a little bit more detail that he's wearing an right, outfit. And then the trousers, they're pretty generic, but generally overall, not too bad. Looks a little bit like Chris Hemsworth, not amazingly too much. I mean, they've not gone into doing full-on head scans, but for a budget action figure toy, you can't go too wrong. In terms of movement, you can move the head all the way around on a ball joint, and it can go up and down a little bit, not too much. On the shoulders, they completely flip, and they can also go quite back, so we can do full-on Hulk Hulkamania. <laughs> That's just instantly where that kind of comes. What are you going to do, brother, when these 48, 20-inch pythons go over you? Anyway, <laughs> no movement on the wrist, but on the elbow we have got some movement. Nothing on the wrist, but we can move the the legs. Not too much movement. Got a hole on the bottom there for putting on place. And then we have the accessory itself, which you can see here. We have got the hammer. We've got the infinity stone, which you can clip in. Which obviously that's the thing that's integrated and luckily at least and compared to the Hulk one this one's a little bit better because it's all the way through I would have liked to have had the hold down here a little bit more rather than the in wasn't too much of a difficulty getting him in I think overall not a bad figure at all just looks very different um, from the four having just recently just watched four Ragnarok obviously he looks very very different from four Ragnarok from the gladiator mode and even more so very much different than the movies before him I think it's great I think for a budget action figure you can't go too wrong anyway guys let me know in the comments below what you guys think i'd love to know your thoughts on this one anyway guys thank you very much for watching see you guys soon laters